In an apparent case of friendly fire, a U.S. guided missile cruiser shot down its own F-18 fighter jet over the Red Sea. Pakistan has pointed fingers at India and Israel for influencing the United States to impose sanctions on its missile development and research agencies. A report has revealed that more than 50% of the 34 Indian Air Force aircraft crashes recorded between 2017 and 2022 were attributed to human error. The Indian Army is procuring 70 units of vehicle-based mine scattering system to revolutionize the deployment of minefields in response to modern battlefield dynamics. The Indian Army is procuring four many unmanned aerial vehicles equipped with advanced detection systems for identifying surface and subsurface landmines and IEDs. The DRDO has strongly advocated for the development and manufacturing of the FRCV within India, and that the DRDO is targeting its next generation main battle tank to have 90% local content. India has intensified its countermeasures against the increasing threat of drone incursions from Pakistan by deploying GPS jamming along the Punjab border. Mega Engineering has received orders from DRDO to manufacture 27 airframes for the Tara Tactical Advanced Range Augmentation Precision Guidance Kit. The ISRO and European Space Agency have signed an agreement to cooperate on astronaut training, mission planning and conducting research experiments. New reports indicate that the AMCA program is currently progressing well, with key components nearing completion. Large portions of the AMCA's airframe are currently under construction, which marks a major milestone in the program. Mid-2026 have been set as the target for the rollout of the AMCA, with its first flight in the second quarter of 2028. Medani Group has achieved a significant milestone by dispatching its first consignment of titanium and super-alloy products to Hindustan Aeronautics, for the manufacturing of the airframe and structural parts of the Tejas Mark II fighter jet. The use of titanium alloys in the Tejas Mark II airframe ensures high strength, reduced weight, and superior corrosion resistance, while the super alloys will provide strength and performance under extreme temperatures and stress. Following past setbacks in finalizing a procurement deal, the Indian Air Force is now considering a wet lease arrangement for a French Air Force-owned Airbus A330 multi-role tanker transport that would provide a cost-effective and short-term solution to augment its aerial refueling capabilities, and also gather operational experience with the platform. Today's Top 3 Comments